Keith Olbermann in for Jeff Greenfield tonight. Besides the new turn of the ground war in Afghanistan tonight, it has been an extraordinarily busy week, one which included an anthrax threat that led the House of Representatives to take an unusual long weekend. Accordingly, the House stands adjourned. Hi, you've reached the House of Representatives. We're out of the office until Tuesday. Please leave a message after the beep. A serious decision that unleashed some serious satire. The House of Representatives, uh, they're taking a nice long break, a nice long weekend break. Head for the hills. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I... Another, I... Another chapter in Profiles and Courage. <laughs> that some kind of threat and a package were delivered to the House chamber before the leadership decided to shutter the doors has not gotten quite the same level of publicity. This has gotten all the publicity, and then some. Anthrax. At media outlets. Our biggest problem is fear. Actual infections, about half a dozen. Actual exposures, still in just two figures. The anthrax in Florida, in Senator Daschle's office, at NBC, believed to all be one strain. Uh, after we have sufficient supplies... The administration announced plans to buy millions of doses of smallpox vaccine, but not to break the patent on the leading antibiotic for anthrax, Cipro. Yet the Canadian government did the exact opposite, ordering that generic Cipro be made available. Worldwide, some edges held, some frayed. On Wednesday, Israeli cabinet member Ray Havam Zevi was assassinated. The Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine claimed responsibility. The Palestinian Authority then outlawed the PFLP. The next day, just blocks from the still-smoking ruins of the World Trade Center, four of Osama bin Laden's co-conspirators in the bombings of two American embassies in East Africa were sentenced to life in prison without the chance of parole. Morning. The president, meanwhile, left for China, while two members of his administration returned to the spotlight. The director of Homeland Security, Tom Ridge, beginning daily briefings, here's Thursday. The first of many opportunities. And here's Friday. It's good to be with you again to give you another uh, update on Homeland Security. And Vice President Cheney touring the Trade Center site and saying what all of us who have seen it have said and have said sincerely, television doesn't convey the sense of destruction.